What it is, my Tano Fishing Grease here with the definitive Servo Fish Fishing Guide in Orvalis and Fortuna. Now, uh, the reason I'm completely redoing my Servo Fish Fishing Guide is because, well, I hated the first three videos I made. I just, I hated them. I hated all three of them. So I'm bundling it all together here, and hopefully, hopefully this will be a little bit more usable. But first and foremost, let's get through the rudimentary information first. Servo fishing in Orvalis is critical. How do you know the temperature? Well, there are two ways. If you're already on Orvalis, open the map, and at the bottom right-hand corner, it'll tell you in this rotating uh, half-circle dial what the temperature is. Certain fish will spawn in warm weather. Other fish will spawn in cold weather. So that's really important to keep in mind to keep a watchful eye on. The three locations I have chosen to show you today are based on proximity and ease of use. Proximity, namely, to Fortuna, as you can see here but also how difficult it is to get to that location. The three locations I'm showing you, I personally use to fish. I'm not saying they're, end out, they're they are the end all be all best location to fish, but all of the 13 fish will spawn and I use these specific locations for all of my fishing needs. So use them if you like, unless you find a better location by all means, that's up to you. So the first location we're gonna talk about today is right down here, I mean literally straight down the hill. And this is going to be the location of the first four servo fish. None of these fish require special bait to actually get to spawn. All four of these fish will spawn entirely on their own without bait. The only thing you need to do is throw out bait, and that is all. So the first four fish that you're going to get from this location are the long winder, which gives you lathe coagulant, and that's a warm weather fish. The echo winder, which gives you anoscopic sensors. Again, this is a warm weather fish and krillers which give you thermal lasers again warm weather fish but also in this location you can get the sap caddy which is a cold weather fish the sap caddy will give you venito cases so this is the first location literally straight outside of fortuna as soon as you come out the door now one resource i do want to talk about is scrap anytime you catch fish and dismantle them you have a chance a very good chance at that to get scrap so if you're needing scrap just get any type of fish and you have a chance to get them so the next location we're going to be talking about is straight down the road from fortuna again proximity ease of use i call this kidney ponds because this road reminds me of a human spine with the two bonds on either side being your kidneys Now, if you are in orbit and you want to know the temperature of Orvalis, you can hover your browser over your cursor, I should say, over Orvalis, and it'll actually tell you the temperature. So, uh, I do like this location for the next five fish, because again, proximity, ease of use, it's right here, straight down the road from Fortuna, right nearby, I can spawn into Orvalis, I can get down here very quickly. Now, you can use both of these ponds. Both of these ponds work to fish for the, the, these five fish. This one over here, this one over here, work just wonderfully to spawn fish. I'm gonna have to remove these dudes because they're going to be distracting. So then again, these five fish will spawn here on their own without bait. And these five fish are the following. Brickies, which give you muon batteries, and that's a warm weather fish and eye eyes which give you rotoblades and that is the second warm weather fish the last three fish in this location are cold weather fish and they are the tanks which give you dissipator coils the recasters which give you neural relays and the traumazons which give you introplasm okay so all of five fish will spawn in these two ponds you can use either one your personal preference just look for the hot spot and in case you're wondering, the hot spots are these swirling mass of color, this orange, oranges and greens. That is a hot spot in Orvalis. So the third and final spot that we're going to show you for the final four fish of the 13 in Fortuna is a little bit of a hike. But thankfully, you are not under any kind of time restraint because temperature is not a factor in this location. Down at the Far, I mean, the farthest south you can possibly go by this gigantic collapsed Oregon structure. There is a cave here. This is my favorite fish or favorite cave to fish for the last four servo fish. 
Now, one thing I do need to stress is resource boosters are a huge, huge benefit here. Resource boosters will give you double the fish that you catch. So I cannot stress enough how well they work. And they do, they work incredibly well. Particularly with those fish that tend to be more on the rare side. So again, this is going to be ease of use, not necessarily proximity, but most caves have platforming section or have a long winding uh, series of tunnels, almost maze-like, to get to the fishing location. This location, you literally walk in the door uh, and literally walk out. I mean, it's just that simple. When you're farming resources, you don't want to spend a lot of time having to... At least for me, I don't want to spend a lot of time having to actually navigate a huge maze of winding tunnels. So, that's why I like this location. Easy in, get the fish I need for the resources I want, easy out. Now, three of the four remaining fish will spawn here in a fair amount. The, the four remaining fish are going to be the scrubber, which gives you extra brains. The mire winder, which is going to give you parallel biodes. The Karamos, which are going to give you the Sagan modules. And finally, the Sinicid. Now, the Sinicid, yeah, the Sinicid is a real problem. Um, prior to the last patch on Fortuna, I was able to actually acquire schools of one to three Sinicids that would spawn every, you know, five ish minutes or so. And then now it, we're, I'm lucky if I see one Sinicid every, like, hour, every couple of hours. Like, that's literally how bad it has gotten. But, with that said, Sinicids will spawn here on their own without bait. They will not spawn in great numbers, but they do still spawn here. So, hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully you now know the best locations uh, as far as proximity to Fortuna and ease of use that are going to work the best for your servo fish guide as well as the resources you need. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite fishing location is and if you like the locations I selected and I personally use. And until next time, peace and grace.